Hi everyone, I hope you're well. So as the title suggested, I'm back with yet another haul. Yeah, I've been hoarding all these things since the start of September and I thought it is finally time to share with you. At the moment I'm not really shopping beside Christmas presents for other people as yeah, I recently lost my job, so that's another story. So I'm gonna get into the happy things, into the things that I shopped for ages and ages and I'm really, really, really excited to open them, share them with you and finally use them because yeah, they've been months. So yeah, the first thing I actually grabbed, a lot of these things, you've already seen them on my Instagram account, but yeah, the first thing I grabbed is this and it's the Elizabeth Arden um, De Jour Comme des Nuits uh, makeup collection. Uh, it has quite a lot of things in it. I'm not going to grab them all out just because you can see them on the box. But if you want review swatches on my Instagram, please let me know below. And I'll happily, happily do that for you. But if you let me know, I'll, I'll go and like swatch. I'll probably do some. But yeah, these are all the products. It comes with two makeup palettes, three brushes, an eye and lip makeup remover, mascara, two lip glosses, four lipsticks, a highlighter, two lip liners and two eyeliners. I'm really excited to test all these things. I'm really, really in love with the lipsticks. Obviously I had a sneak peek. Oh, and let's not forget it comes with a gorgeous, gorgeous makeup bag. So I can't wait to open this. And this was from a shop called Carry Ann's that you can find online. It was 40, 42 or 44 pounds. So I think that is really, really good. I'm sorry, I just have an itch here. I swear to God, every time I, I Put the camera on to film i get like an itchy nose i think it's from the powder so yeah the next place i've been to is the market and as you all know like at the market here i always get like uh high-end products for like testers for really cheap so sorry for the first i grabbed quite a few items the first one it's the you can't really see it it's the Dior Backstage Blender and it's a beauty blender, a black one. I'm really, really excited to use this. I can't wait to test it. I do have the beauty blender and the um, Real Techniques um, one, so I can't wait to see the fuss of this. I think I paid, yeah, seven pounds on this, so it was a real bargain. It was the same price as the Real Techniques one, so I'm really, really excited to try it. The next item I picked up is a eyeliner brush again from Dior and I think I paid £10 on this one, I believe. I don't have the sticker anymore. And as I said, they I don't know how they get them. They're like testers and things like that. But it comes in the original pouch and this is how the brush looks like. I apologize, I don't have nails anymore. I cut them off and I don't have nail polish at the moment. So this is the brush. I think it's, I really want to try it for eyeliner. If not, I'm definitely going to try it for smudging underneath. By the way, do you like this makeup look a lot? You requested me lately to do makeup. I'm very insecure about my makeup. Not insecure in the sense of like coming with a bare face. That doesn't bother me really. It's just I'm not sure if my techniques are up to standards. But if you guys want to see uh, so makeup looks definitely let me know some of you already request so I will try my best to film them but do you like this one by any chance or do you have any specific requests do you just want to random get ready with me with any makeup or do you want a certain makeup certain color please let me know and I'll try and do that I'll continue with the haul all right so we have more Dior products I have this one and this as you can see I paid 12 pounds and it's a Dior contour it's a mm, lip pencil and brush and it also comes with a little Dior uh, sharpener I lost it there for a second so this is how the pencil looks like it's in the color uh, 573 mauve it comes like this and I'm gonna swatch it for you guys and I think it's a really really pretty color I've uh, it's sort of similar to what I'm wearing. And it also comes with a little lip brush. And I think that's really cool. I'm interested to test this out. I didn't test any of these products yet. So I'm really, really excited to get into it. I'm sorry if I'm a bit down today. My energy levels are not great. As I said, I've been through some things lately. And I've been really struggling to get energy to film. Because I don't want to come up, you know, in front of you guys and be like, and this is the lipstick I bought and my life sucks. You know what I mean? I really wanted to gather a bit of energy. Um, positive energy before I come in here so I really hope I'm not coming across really down because there's nothing I hate more than that so the next item I purchased I already opened it without showing you it's a Dior 
uh, sculpt and it's in 001 ivory and it's a concealer guys and I paid 10 pounds again I'm just gonna do a quick swatch I don't know if you can see it is a very light, uh, light yellow based concealer and it looks like this and you can see it's gorgeous I actually used this one once just because I could not wait I didn't use it anymore after that I did love it I, I am yet to test it a bit more I don't want to just say yes it's amazing go all and purchase it but so far that one time I wore it I really loved it really highlighted my face it really covered this horrible lines I do have at the moment because I'm not sleeping well and yeah the next item I purchased is yet another lipstick uh, I didn't even know I have another one and it's in color 418 in genuine. Oh no, it is the first one. What am I talking about? It was a lip crayon. Uh, and it looks like this and this was a 12 pounds again. This is the color. Surprise, surprise, here's another orangey nude. I haven't even, if you look at this, I haven't even tested the color yet. Oh God, this is really nice and buttery. It's a bit glossy, but not too much. And it's it's really buttery, guys. I, uh, I can't wait to finally use all these products up because as I said, up to now, I, I, I literally have so many that probably this video is gonna be really long. So if you wanna pause now and grab a drink, please be my guest. Um, Another thing, so all these items I was talking, I grabbed them from the market. Another one I grabbed, I think this was like two pounds, is a wood lip liner pencil from Davis Cosmetics and it's in the color 07 and then it's something I don't understand but this is how it looks like oh my god this is beautiful I really wanted a purple I never really tried a purple lip a full-on purple lip and I just want to try it I don't know if it's gonna suit me or not but I really want to try it so I'm looking forward to trying that my throat is really really dry another yet high-end item that I grabbed is a Chanel lipstick in uh, Color Lador um, or La Dore, uh, 45 and oh my god guys first of all let's just take a moment to admire the packaging so you press on it and this comes out and it is a mauve and I actually wore this once um, it's really really dark vampy lip and oh god guys it's just on the hand it doesn't come as dark but on the actual you know on my lips it came quite dark and movie this again I would say it's a really nice lipstick it stained a bit my lips so I really liked the lasting power I wore it only once so I can't give a full review but yes I I do love it so far and oh look at all the swatches another really exciting exciting item I found on the market is by MAC and it was actually the Rihanna, Viva Glam Rihanna, and this was again £10, and as you all know, MAC lipsticks, I think at the moment they're £15.50, so, and this is like, I think a limited edition one, I don't know if, you know, this specific one is in the shops anymore, it looks like this, it's quite an odd colour, not something that I would say I would go for, like, oh my god, if I go into MAC, I would definitely grab this, but I thought it was so interesting for the price, I thought I had to grab it. And I'm going to give you a very odd swatch here. And this is the colour. I would say it's a red with a brick and then it has a slight shimmer into it. I wouldn't know how to explain and tell you this exact colour. But this is how I would describe it. Like a red brick. Red with a bit of shimmer in it. The last item from this bag and from the market that I bought. It's this. And this was £6, guys. I can't believe it's £6. And it's the Soap and Glory Archery 2 in 1 Brow Sculpting Crayon and Setting Gel. And I got mine in brown and out. And I have to say, guys, I haven't, I've never seen these before. So I was really excited. It looks like this. And on this side, if you guys see, it has a clear mascara. I believe it's clear. No, it's actually, is it coloured? No, it's clear. I just tested it on my hand. You can't really see it, can you? No. It's like clear. I think I just dirted it because I did use it once. Um, and on this side it has one of those crayons that reminds me of the hourglass ones that Essie Button raved about. This feels a bit light to me, this specific colour. I don't know. And the pencil seems to drag a bit. Like You have to press quite a bit to get a swatch out of it. But nevertheless, I'm going to test it out and let you guys know how I feel about this. Right, the next place I went to, I should have started the beginning with it because it was the same, uh, some of them are from Carrie Ann's as well. But I have quite a lot of products there. I mixed uh, 
from mix shops so i'm going to try and start with the carry ons ones i got this one it's called i love you and it's perfume and this one is a perfect copy of the j'adore if you guys know that perfume is really expensive it's like a hundred something pounds don't get me wrong every now and then i think you should treat yourself you know or ask it for a present for christmas but this Oh, this smells just like it and it was £2.50 so I would definitely recommend going check them out I don't know how much alcohol and things like that I can't really understand anything on the back on it the only thing in English says beware of counterfeits so that's about it with that the next two items I grabbed from the same uh, shop are two SC nail polishes I already wore both of these I love them to bits first a one the glittery one is in 334 summit of style and it's a gorgeous gorgeous golden color and the second one is called dress to kilt and i love the name of this and it's a really nice deep red bit burgundy-ishy so it's really really pretty i think these two colors perfect for christmas you can do an accent nail with this one i'll probably paint my nails uh, after this video with these two because I've had them in this bag and I forgot about them uh, Another item I grabbed from there two items. They were actually from Halloween, but I ended up not using them I tried to use them, but they were actually quite poor quality But I thought I'll still share them with you just to give you a little opinion So this was a pound fifty and it's from a company called Laval and it's in 407 a cream powder white I'll have to say this wasn't really good. It should be like, you know, white powder and it, it comes, it's very dusty, not really white. It came across like a normal powder and it didn't help on my makeup when I was trying some Halloween makeup things. And another thing I grabbed because I wanted to put this as a base and that on top and again, it, it let me down. It was a um, foundation makeup in white. But when you actually swatch it, and I'll just show you just a quick little bit. I'm running out of space already. Um, when you swatch it, you would think, oh yeah, look at it, it's just white. When you actually blend it in, it's a highlighter. So I think as a highlighter, it's great cream highlighter. I don't know how it wears on the skin, but it's only a highlighter. It was sold to me as a white foundation. So I would definitely not recommend it for that purpose. And it's very, very glittery. So be aware of that. Um, and the last two products I grabbed from Carrie Anne's are from Helena Rubinstein. And this is a really high-end expensive makeup that I really didn't have anything from them in the past. But I found them for £5 each. And they're brand new. The only problem is the packaging is either missing or damaged. So this is how the compact looks and it's gorgeous. It opens up, has a really nice size mirror and this one, it's a bronzer. And this one is in Golden Beauty 01. And I'll try and give you a quick swatch of that here. And it's really, really beautiful, really, really creamy. I think this would actually be a really good contouring shade. It has zero, zero shimmer or anything in it. And I think it's so buttery that it would really sculpt those cheeks. Wish I had some put on now. Um, and the last product I bought from Carrie Anne's is yet another Helena Rubinstein. This one came actually without its packaging. And this one is Urban Beauty Shimmering Blush and 02 Starstruck. And guys, this is just a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. I don't know if the little marks on... I don't know where to put them anymore. Let me just roll my sleeve. Um, I don't know if the shimmer... Look at that highlighter. I don't know if you can see it, but it's gorgeous. I don't know if this little shimmering things just go away after you like rub the product i think they will i'm not 100 percent sure but nevertheless it's a gorgeous gorgeous highlighter very in your face i would say but i love it i think it's really really good for those you know i want to put some on my face now i have some left Ooh. you know i don't edit through my videos i i can edit so don't think i can't i just really like to show you like from start to finish this is what i'm talking about this is how i am so you see like a raw version of me even though i edit a start and the finish because the start i'm just sitting down and i see if i'm in frame and at the end you know i'm i'm like going to the camera and pressing <laughs> off and stuff so i do cut that off but the main part i always try and finish um you know film a video start to finish so i don't know do you guys like that do you, would you like me to actually cut some of these bits off and just present it a video let me know I, I would like to really like to interact more with you and let me know what what else you would like to see from me or how would you like me to improve this i know sorry i'm doing this 
as a hobby and it's my passion and obviously it's like what sort of content I put out and stuff but in the same time we're friends and interact and friends do listen on each other's opinions so please again let me know below. I'm going to move to the pound shop or pound land in this case. First of all, I bought some Liz Martin's Inspire lashes. And the reason I bought these ones is, I don't know if you can see, they have these little glitters on the end. I found them really interesting. I thought maybe for New Year's Eve or something like that would be really nice. Then two things I grabbed were from uh, Maybelline. But oh, I'm getting hiccups again. Ah! from Maybelline and one is in light one in natural it's what I believe they say it's a mineral base and they look like this one of them is actually really really light I don't think not even when I'm with my whitest in winter I'm actually that color so I'm going to try maybe to highlight my face with it the other one is you know on my light shade they seem really thick I've never seen these on the market and I don't know I want to test them out some more and two left products left from the Poundland. One of them is a NYC um, CT Proof Twistable Intense Lip Color. It's in the color 050 Park Slope Peach. And it looks like so. I'll try again and give you a really... It's like a very, very orange in your face lipstick. Um, a summer color, I would say. I don't think I would wear this in winter, but... You know, I've seen it, I, I tested actually on my lips from one of my friends because I bought it for her and then I've seen her, you know, and then I decided to go back and grab one for me. And another exciting, really exciting thing, sorry, I was looking at the time, I was like, oh my God, I'm talking already for so long. Um, another really exciting thing I bought is this and it's from L'Oreal and they're some of those, in America at the moment, are those city effects colours, drops or something like that? Well, I found in the power shop a L'Oreal one that they obviously, again, advise you to mix it with your foundation to darken it up so I can't wait to test this one out it would be really interesting because I have some shades I'm looking behind me I don't know why it's because my foundation is in this drawer I have some shades that are really really light and even if I'm a really really light skin like now I still have a bit of a tan going on believe it or not I'm like that wall naturally even though I'm that some um foundations do like are proper light so I'm going to try and mix them up with this. I'm already full of products around me and there's a lot more to come. I'm going to grab this other bag and these are a bit of miscellaneous, maybe Boots, Asta, things like that. The first thing I grabbed from Boots and it's a Heels Genius Foot Cream from Soap and Glory. Never tested this foot cream before so I thought why not give it a go, especially now in the winter when we really need to moisturise and I have really dry skin in the summer. In the winter it goes even worse. Uh, this was from, I actually posted this on my Instagram, this was from Wilco from their Christmas range. It's called Just Browsing and it's an eyebrow kit. I will be honest, I grabbed this purely for this. Uh, I didn't know what to expect from the products inside, but it does come with some extra products. It comes with an eyebrow cream, and I have to say this is really, really dark. So if you have, like, black hair, Vinny, I don't know if you're watching this, but I, I think you might like it, even though you're now into the other cream from, uh, uh, make, is it Make a Revolution? Uh, but it would suit sort of like, you know, if you have black hair, it's really dark brown. And it comes with a clear mascara, two little brushes, a comb and a brush, uh, tweezers and a little pen. The pen is actually black, so I don't understand how that works out, how they worked out this kit. I looked on them next day after I opened mine and they don't come in other colours, so please be aware the pen is black, so I will never use black, even if I had black hair and I did used to have black hair in the past, I would never use black on my eyebrows. So I don't know, you can use that as an eyeliner or, you know, keep it for a Halloween painty thing. Uh, I'll definitely try the mascara and I was really, really, I really want to try this. Let me just put this down. I really want to try this little uh, brow wow it's called. I can't think of it. It's a brush, that's it. A makeup brush. So I really want to try uh, this brush out. Um... Let's just keep it going with the brushes for now. I grabbed this from Asta. I believe it was like £15. So usually I think they're £21. And it's the Core Collection. I do already have this brush. So I'm a bit bummed about that. But I really wanted this. And I think this is this the setting brush or contour brush. But I really want to try it. Either for contour or for setting my under eye. I've seen it in so many videos. So many years that I really, really want to try that one out. 
uh, more brushes. I grabbed this Eco Tools again in last day. It was on sale for six pounds down from I think eleven or twelve pounds. So again, another item I really want to test, and they look like this. It comes with quite. Let me just take this out because it's glaring. Right, so it comes with two, four, five brushes and I'm quite excited to have these. I think they're really good for traveling and I never had an Eco Tools brush, believe it or not. So I'm, I really wanted to test these ones out as they were so cheap. They're like less than one brush from any other brand. So but I'll test them out. Again, from Wilco's, I bought, uh, bought these. Was it from Wilco's? Um, no, it wasn't from Wilco's, it was from Sainsbury's. New Sainsbury's opened in our town, so whatever. I had a look around and I found these. And these are little iPads with cucumber. Never tested this brand before. It's from Dirty Works, I believe the a company is called. I really want to test them out. Have you guys tested any of their products before? Are there any good? Should I test some more? Nevertheless, I can't wait to test these ones out. Uh, a little Batiste, this actually came free in boots with a purchase, I had one of, you know, you really need a boots app, if you don't have the boots app and you shop, shop in boots, you should get that app, because that day it was just like, if I spend a certain amount of money, it will give me a little free Batiste, and I was really happy about that. Right, La Roche Posay, let me just grab this. You guys already seen this set. As you can see, the moisturizer is missing from here. I haven't used these other two products more. Is the Effaclar Anti Blemish System 24 Hour. Um, this one is the toner and the foaming gel, and I can't wait to that now that I finally hold these to fully use the system. I used this a couple of times, but I put it back in the box and then I totally forgot it about it. But one thing I uh, sorry for that, I didn't forget about was this cream. And as you can see, I already grabbed another one. I have mine actually here, and I'm using it usually twice a day, and mine is already empty. So I went and grabbed another one already when they were, I think, 20% off. Really, really loving this at the moment. I'm struggling with my skin due to some medication I'm taking for quite a while. That's why I also put some weight on. Some of you probably noticed, some of you commented on it. I used to be a size 6, now I'm like a 10. I'm not going to make a fuss or discuss things like this really because it's like a weight thing. It does bother me a bit because I can't fit my clothes, but that's about it. But yeah, beside the weight changes, I had a lot of changes in my skin and this quite helped me keep it a bit tame even though I have quite a bit of breakouts at the moment and issues with like a bit of acne and all sorts. Um, four items left. It, yet again from Boots, the Instant Eye Eraser, this is a repurchase and a repurchase and a repurchase, I've been using it for ages, I'm wearing it today, I'm really loving it, uh, I'm wearing on top of it a bit of the 17 one, the really light one that I raved about before, I'm really liking this, I'll keep repurchasing it every time I run out. Um, another item that is sort of a repurchase but in a different colour is the Collection Lasting Perfection, people rave about this, I'm always a bit unsure about it, I find it a bit thick for my under eye but maybe it's just me because I have really dry skin and I find it a bit drying and settles in my lines but I went and grabbed number two cool medium just for like spots and concealing things like that because I find it's really good for that but the first colour was so light uh, that I couldn't really conceal on my face because I would actually highlight them so I went and grabbed a different colour. Um, another item I grabbed is from River um, River from Rimmel and it's Hide the Blemish Concealer. It looks like this. I haven't tested it yet, so I can't give you my opinion. But as I said, I'm struggling from blemishes and spots at the moment. So I stocked up, as you can see, on concealers for that. Um, the last product I grabbed from Boots is finally the Soap and Glory Super Cat. I never tested this before. I'm really excited. I think six pounds is a really good price for it. And when you get it in the three for two, I think it's brilliant. Just gonna give you a quick swatch there. There it is. Um, I'll say it's black, it's quite creamy. Oh, I'm not sure about it. You know, at the moment, I'm using the Urban Decay uh, cream eyeliner and I love it. But yeah, I do love my pencils. So, oh my god, sorry, I just seen the time again. I've been filming for ages. Um, yeah, I can't wait to test that as well. I do have quite a few things left, but not that much, so please bear with me. Um, two more things from Wilco's. I grabbed these. I actually had more of them, but I've used them already. One is in orange and pomelo and coconut and vanilla. 
I do love my Lush for bath things, but you know, sometimes it gets quite expensive to just throw three quid in your bath and go, there you go. So I thought I'd try these ones out. Usually they're around 95 pence when they're on offer. And I think they're really nice. They're not as good as Lush, but they do certainly give you a really nice smell in your bath and they work, you know, so I would recommend them. Uh, quite a long time ago, I grabbed, I went to a little event, an opening event, nothing fancy, everyone was invited from my town sort of thing, and I grabbed these sunglasses, I'm not going to put them on, I have a picture on my Instagram with them, I think they're gorgeous, they're very stylish, I'm quite sad summer is over, so I never got to wear them out, I only took a picture and that was about it, so I'm quite excited to wear them in the future. This was a really exciting purchase and was from the same uh, shop. It's a little travel bag that will host your money card, the host hose? They'll hose it. Uh, money cards, travel and receipts. As you can see, it has quite a bit of different compartments, a zipper compartment for change, cards and all things nice. I think this was from ASOS. Yeah, it was from ASOS. I, I paid like three pounds on it in that event and I really, really love it. As you guys know, I do travel quite a bit every year, so that will come in handy. Um, Not many things left at the moment. I'm trying to grab them all now just so I stop bending down because it's not really nice getting in and out of frame all the time. Dove uh, deodorant. I only thought I'm going to share this with you just because I quite like it and I thought I'll share in the video. Usually I don't show you all my deodorants and things like that because I, I get and I start using them before. I, I, you know, usually when I film the haul, I don't actually use the product. So some of the things, they're like hygiene and stuff, so I need them. But this one, I actually have a lot of backups, but I grabbed another one when it was, was on offer. It's a Dove Maximum Protection Pomegranate and Lemon verbena verbena i'm so sorry i don't know how to pronounce that i really like this one i would say it's a bit expensive so usually i go with a cheaper version because the full price i think they're five pounds fifty or something like that so i find them a bit steep even though it says the girl that spends a lot of money on makeup La. <sighs> probably you've seen these on every beauty channel but yes i had to hop on as you can see i'm missing one already is the tinkle eyebrow razors I've been using them a bit on my face, like here in, on the sides and on the brows, and I even tried it a bit on the side. I don't, ha I'm not too like, I only have a bit of fluff, so I don't want to really shave my face as all the YouTubers done lately, but I think it will come in handy, and yeah, I jumped on the wagon and grabbed them. So far, I like it. I think it's really good for like this area of your eyebrow, because I, I watched a video recently, and they were saying there's one thing that you should never do, pluck the top of your eyebrows. That's because with age, your eyes are gonna change form and everything. And if you like get rid of that hair, like in the future, you might want to reshape. It's quite a weird thought probably because a lot of you maybe are really young and they're like, I don't wanna think when I'm gonna be 60. But you know, older you get, the more you start to think about things like this. Um, I went to New Look and I grabbed a couple of things in the sale. One of them is this, it's a little hair piece, you can't see it, it's tangled around and I'm trying to show you how you would look. It's, oh god, it's like this, to put it on your hair and this bit shows, there you go, I managed to do it. This was, as you can see, one pound so I could not skip this. Uh, I'm probably going to wear it in a video soon because it's quite exciting. Again, another pair of earrings I found for a pound, I thought they were really nice and edgy. Uh, and some from Claire's again for a pound. I grabbed this little um, media rings. Um, throwing a lot of things around. I think I have something else in here. No, just the receipt. Um, right, another item I grabbed lately, and it's something that used to be raved quite a bit in the past. Is the Ciate uh, nail kit. I'm trying to open it to show you. And it's the one the What's this one actually called? Chalkboard, chalk, chalkboard manicure. I feel like I'm pronouncing that all wrong. So this is how it looks. It comes with a uh, paint in black, a top coat, and the marker pens. I think it's really fun. I played around with it one night uh, before I put it in my uh, box, and yeah, I really love it. I can't wait to experiment with it a bit more. Another thing that I grabbed lately is from Asda is the Mineral Magic. I've been hearing people raving about this for quite a while and they went down to like £9.97 so I was like, you know what, I'm actually going to try it. It looks like this, it has like little specs, they say it's good coverage and I don't know, I'll test it. 
As you all know, I also grabbed the Smashbox palette when it was on offer in Boots. It was half price. I could not say no to that. Some of you asked me to show it in a... Um, you know, in a video, some of you told me that I really need to do a look with it, so I might do that as well. This is how it looks like. It's a gorgeous, a gorgeous, gorgeous palette. I can't wait to finally, finally use it, because believe it or not, I haven't even swatched it, so I can't wait to test this one out. And the last product in this haul, and I promise that I'm going to go, because I've been here for probably like 30 minutes. Uh, this is the longest haul I've probably ever done. Uh, the last item is a Lorac Mega Pro Palette. This, I'm not going to lie, it's an eBay dupe. I've been telling you on Instagram about it. Again, this one I will be doing a separate video. I'll just give you a quick sneak peek of the palette, how it looks. This is a copy or a dupe. It's not an original Lorac Pro. I paid £12 on this. I am going to make a separate video on this, showing you the colours. Maybe I'm going to do a first impressions on my eye, just come with like my, without my eye makeup done. I'll definitely be doing a separate video on this and it's going to be one of my series eBay dupes skip or whip. So we will shall find out if it's a whip or a skip. <sighs> we can finally breathe. Thank you ever so much for watching guys. If you have any questions, if you want to tell me anything, if you have any requests, if you think I should change anything about myself or the videos or I don't know if I can help you in any way, shape or form ever talk to you, you know where to find me. My Instagram and all my social media accounts are down below. Please don't forget to comment, like and subscribe if you would like to see some more of me because I do want to see some more of you. So yeah, thank you ever so much for watching. I hope you have an amazing, amazing day and week and life. And I shall see you in my next video. Bye guys.